welcome to a journey into the future of hair transplants, where India stands as a global leader in transformative treatments. Scientific advancements and technological innovations have revolutionized the industry, positioning India as a premier destination for hair transplants. With a team of highly skilled professionals, the industry provides a wide range of cutting-edge hair solutions, helping countless individuals regain their natural hair and confidence. India has become a sought-after destination for hair transplant procedures due to its advanced medical technology, skilled professionals and cost-effective treatments. Are you wary of battling hair loss that diminishes your confidence? Look no further than India, home to Eugenics Hair Sciences, a premier clinic offering hair transplants and restoration services. Research indicates that men are more concerned about hair loss than women, driving the rising demand among the male population. In India, more than half of the patients are treated at trichology clinics, followed by hospitals and dermatology clinics. Meet Dr. Pradeep Sethi and Dr. Arika Bansal, founders of Eugenics. Both doctors are alumni of Ames, New Delhi, and have a combined experience of 30 plus years. They specialize in hairline design, density creation, corrective hair transplantation and treating extreme baldness and female hair loss cases. Dr. Bansal, a gold medalist from Ames, has 15 plus years of experience and co-authored step-by-step -step hair transplantation with Dr. Sethi, educating the next generation of hair surgeons. Eugenics started in 2010. After we, me and Dr. Arika completed our uh, MD Dermatology from the prestigious All India Institute of Medical Sciences in 2008, we went to start our own practice in Dermatology in Rishikesh, then Dehradun. Then 2009 and then 2010, we started doing something new that we never did was hair transplantation. And very soon we realized that we should do only one thing and master that. And so by 2010 end, we stopped doing the rest of our cosmetic practices and focused only on hair. And that one-pointed focus led us to develop a new technique altogether called direct hair transplantation, where the grafts are taken and planted as soon as possible. Eugenics caters to the majority of patients from the Caucasian world, performing multiple surgeries annually in its world-class clinics in India. The industry plans to establish the groundbreaking World Hair Park, offering advanced treatments and nurturing future medical professionals, cementing India's status as the preferred destination for hair transplants. The World Hair Park concept came to me one year back. If now we can do something where it, the patients have been picked up from the airport, you know, they are, they are parked in some area where the, also the procedures happen. So over a 5 to 10 acres of land, there is a hospital space where the surgery is happening. And after the surgery is over, they are being kept in the, you know, uh, you know in-house residences uh, with all those amenities which are required. And they all will feel safe in a semi-medical uh, facility and they will stay for seven days, eight days, till the head wash and everything is covered. And that concept is, you know, kind of appealing to a lot of patients who come from outside. So we are just in a process of uh, taking a big piece of land in Hyderabad. And once that land is taken off, uh, potentially within one year, two years, we should be in a position to invite the whole world to come to India as the hair destination where maybe at a time we'll have 40 doctors working, 50 doctors working, and you know, 30, 40 or procedures will be happening. And people from all parts of the world, uh, you know, they all want to come to India. And Hyderabad being the, you know, booming city and the temperature, weather, everything is kind of you know, very, very conducive for this, uh, you know, concept. And the local people in Hyderabad are extremely supportive for this. And in that, uh, already India has become a very big, scientific destination for hair transplant and after this hair park it, India will be the kind of the main destination or the mecca of hair transplant in the whole world for the best quality work people want in hair transplant. 
India has seen a significant surge in medical tourism due to hair transplant seekers. The industry attracts 50% of its international clientele with promises of world-class expertise and advanced procedures. India is becoming a global hub for hair restoration because people from various countries across the globe with various ethnicities, races, various skin types and hair types are choosing India because of the consistent results that they are getting. And in Eugenics, we have done patients from all ethnicities like Caucasians, Afro-Americans, Asians and Indians, of course. So because of our wide range of experience in various populations, India is now becoming a global hub. Many international celebrities and sports figures have sought treatment at Eugenics. High-profile Indian clients include former cricketers and film industry personalities. Nick Compton, Robin Tajmut, Mon Van Wyk, Jax Austin and Michael Bevan have benefited from Eugenics's exceptional services. So recently we did surgery for Mr. Jax Austin who is a cancer survivor. He had lymphoma. So uh, he underwent the treatment and when he had a remission, he took it as, it as a second inning of his life. And he started exploring the world and exploring himself by diving deep into spiritualism. In India, former cricketers Ravi Shastri, Mohammad Azharuddin, Mohammad Shami and producer Boni Kapoor are among the many satisfied clients. Well, he, he is the best person for this kind of job in our country. I have seen many people who have had hair transplanted from various people right from Turkey to Dubai to US to UK to even down in Bombay and other parts of the country. There are many as you know today with uh, transplanted hair. But I think that I mean he, he truly is an artist. And I, the way he has done my hair, I feel, I mean although I'm not in favor of dyeing my hair, he's, he's uh, insisting that I dye my hair and I look younger, but I think I look better. I look better with this and somewhere at the cost of being immodest, I feel kahin na kahin yaar, George Clooney jaisi personality meri banne chahiye. So, jo is doctor ne puri koshish ki hai without realizing what he's doing because I had that in mind and I am quite satisfied, very satisfied and happy that finally I gave in and he could work on my hair. Overall experience achha tha, kyunki staff achha tha. During the whole procedure of the whole procedure, what did you do in the morning? It was very good. When it comes to hair, all roads lead to Eugenix. Nowhere else. Eugenics operates from strategic centers in Gurugram, Hyderabad and Mumbai, ensuring top-notch treatments for domestic and international clients. Eugenics' success is rooted in its commitment to innovation. It continuously pioneers new technologies and treatment approaches in hair restoration. As I said, the direct hair transplant concept which was given by us to the world in 2012 and 2013, we published that, then we wrote the book, gave the white paper to the whole world. So mastering that takes a lot of years. Anybody who would pick that up and would like to master that, they have to work day in day out on that concept for many years to master that. That is one thing. And we are also like new doctors who are coming in, they are also getting trained on that so that they also can at least produce 98 or 99% of what I do, being the founder and Dr. Arika. Any, any patient at any part of the world should get the right thing even though we are not his doctor. So the book and the technique that we published were out for the you know neophyte doctors as well as the old doctors, veteran doctors who was practicing this science and now uh, most of the doctors all over the world they directly or indirectly use this technique of direct hair transplantation. So on, on that scientific scale when you treat every patient as your own family member, then the highest quality of ethics will come from you. The International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery, ISHRS, aims to advance member education, 
global collegiality, research, ethics and public awareness to achieve excellence in medical and surgical outcomes. At the 30th annual ISHRS meeting in Panama, top hair transplant surgeons worldwide presented their ideas and theories. We are not relaxing. We are working more on different aspects of the whole methodology, how to fine-tune it further, how to train more doctors, more technicians, more nurses, and empower them to keep doing good work. And even if we are gone one day, you know, the doctors who will, will be trained by us, the nurses, the technicians, they will be continuing to do the great work on the heads of the patients who come here from all parts of the world. Emerging fashionable trend in men is to keep beard these days and men who don't have beard or have very less beard are jumping to do a beard hair, hair restoration surgery. started in 2010. We are competing against ourselves, so we are trying to become better versions of ourselves every day. After this hair park, India will be the kind of the main destination or the Mecca of hair transplant in the whole world for the best quality. Since the service that we are providing is hair transplant surgery, which has a very high success rate in general if done correctly. Dr. Sethi and Dr. Bansal, showcasing India's expertise on a global stage. So people who do research, they, uh, you know, they, they, they do come to us. And then we do get a lot of word of mouth. All those patients who have come to us, whether you know, the, the cream of this country, or the researching patient of this country, or the different parts of the world, they go to write in different forums, at their stories, the third party, regulated by third party people. And uh, some of the founders or some of the uh, leaders of different patient forums uh, in USA, UK, Australia, they all have come to us and uh, they had the exposure of the whole world in this and they got their procedure done and they have gone back and written about us. At Eugenics Hair Sciences, the hair transplant facility boasts 25 procedure rooms ensuring efficiency and personalized care for every patient. We are competing against ourselves, so we are trying to become better versions of ourselves every day, uh, both in terms of the uh, comfort of the patient, the pain should go down, the discomfort should go down during the procedure and the healing aspect, the results should become better. So that is our prime focus. For eugenics, hair transplants are more than medical procedures. They are an art form. Eugenics aims to restore confidence and redefine beauty through meticulous craftsmanship and attention to detail. Emerging fashionable trend in men is to keep beard these days. And men who don't have beard or have very less beard are jumping to do a beard hair, hair restoration surgery. And people who have no beard and they are wanting very, very thick beard, they should not go for aggressive hair transplant from scalp to beard because it doesn't look natural. Okay, it looks uh, uh, very odd sometimes. So it is very important for you to meet your doctor and understand the realistic results that you will be getting because if you go for very aggressive hair transplants in the beard thinking that you will get a fabulous beard the answer is not yes in every case we have to understand. My personal take is that patients with mild beard should go for a moderate density People with moderate beard can go for a very high density beard. But a person with no beard should not aim to get a very dense. So they can't jump from number one to number four straight forward. So we have to be very realistic in our expectations. And the doctors should also be very careful in counseling and doing the right patient selection. Global Hair Loss Summit, GHLS, focuses on collaboration and innovation. Dr. Pradeep Sethi and Dr. Arika Bansal were scientific directors at GHLS 2022 in California. 
where the world's best hair transplant surgeons share their experiences. Since the service that we are providing is hair transplant surgery, which has a very high success rate in general if done correctly, and if we are very very selective about our patient selection, correct education, setting the expectations right, then I would say the results can be very very gratifying and success rate can be very high. Eugenics is committed to continuous innovation, adopting the latest technologies and refining its techniques. Its approach emphasizes artistry in hair restoration, aiming for natural and aesthetically pleasing results. The other thing that we're working, working on is uh, on the stem cells where the hair follicles in the backside, they are resistant to the male hormone. And on the, on the roots of those hair follicles are the stem cells which are also resistant. We are trying to get those stem cells out, stimulate them and put it on the thinning area so that the thinning area can reverse. But this is a very conceptual stage. I cannot give more details into that. And uh, But we are working on stem cells and working on some other you know, kind of uh, uh, R&D where I am sure after many years, maybe I don't know, 7 years, 10 years from now, uh, that will be the new thing to the world and uh, maybe in a, in, a, in a very substantial number of patients all over the world, uh, the baldness can be kind of postponed for a long period of time or maybe prevented also. So we are we're like, and we being one of those pioneers in this. India attracts many international patients due to its affordable and high quality hair transplant services. The medical tourism market is rapidly growing. It was valued at 11.56 billion US dollars in 2020 and 13.98 billion US dollars in 2021 and is projected to reach 53.51 billion US dollars by 2028. The USP I would say is do it once, do it right. So the hair root when it is extracted till the process of implantation it should not be touched or rubbed or mechanically handled in any way. That way we are able to ensure 100% survival and hence a very good growth. Uh, the second I would say is right patient selection, right education, right counselling and setting the expectations right. So one uh, big statement that I always been you know telling since many years is do your research well spend a lot of time on the internet knowing the nuances of the procedure go to different different scientific forums online they all are free do research at least minimum for one year meet multiple doctors also multiple patients past patients so that you understand what are the nuances don't jump for a clinic or a hospital which is nearby you know geographically nearby convenience is there but that place might not be the best place for you and you might get a bust the procedure. Hair transplants are the fastest growing vertical in this market. As India emerges as a global hub for transformative hair restoration treatments, Eugenics' dedication to excellence paves the way for a future where everyone can confidently embrace their true selves.